East Idaho Eats, brought to you by Culling Professional Services. Hey, this is Colum Hodge with EastIdahoNews.com and East Idaho Eats here in Pocatello at the Pine Ridge Mall with Genesis and Luis, the owners and manager, or owner and manager of Latino Bites in the food court. So before we get started, this is a lot of food. Do you guys want to go ahead and run through everything that we have here? So we have the empanadas, that's the famous plate. Um, they're Venezuelan empanadas, because we have a mix here. Yeah. It's Venezuelan and Mexican food together. He is from Mexico, I'm from Venezuela, so we decide to do something together. Um, so empanadas, we have the tacos, we have three types of tacos. Uh, chicken, steak, and the famous pastor, which is the spicy pork. Yeah. Um, the nachos, a set of fries, and then the new fish tacos. Now you were saying the fish tacos, they're... Um there are new items that aren't even on the menu yet. Not even on the right? menu yet. Yeah, so okay. you're going to try them first. I'm going to. But first of all, so a lot of people who don't know what empanadas are. And I know you were saying that these are Venezuelan empanadas, not yeah. Mexican empanadas. That's right. So can you just explain to people what an empanada is and what makes it Venezuelan rather than Mexican? Well, the dough. The dough is different. Um, Mexican normally use the maseca, which is the same one that they use for the tamales. And we use another type, which is corn as well. But it's just white corn, okay. so it makes the dough for, like different, and the taste is different as well. We actually mix sugar and salt into the dough, so it makes it like just different. And then the sauce that we use is cilantro sauce, uh, which is not as spicy at all, so it's kind of sweet too. Yeah. This what, what kind of fish is this? Chala. Oh, okay. This is a really good taco. <laughs> Good crunchy fish. The sauce is that like a like chipotle aioli? sauce. Chipotle aioli. Yeah, that's really good too. That everything, it's perfect. The cabbage and the and the pico de gallo, all goes great together. That's good. Hmm. <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> that's so good. That dough is a little different. It's I don't. It's really good. I like it. So guys. How long has Latino Bites been open? I know you're saying you guys have been open about a year, right? Is that correct? Yeah, we opened on 2020. December 2020 was the first time that okay. we opened here. And what inspired, is this something that like you guys make this food at home and you thought, let's share it? Is that what you guys are thinking? Well, yeah, actually, um, that's a fun story behind it. So when we first came to Pocatello, we, we were struggling with money a little bit. So, because we're supposed to have a job, and then at the end we didn't have it. So, uh, we decided to make empanadas, and then sell it by order on my house. Okay. That's what I started doing. And I was getting a lot of orders, some people were like liking them and stuff, so we were like, okay, we were thinking about it, we were like, okay, it looks like they're good, it looks like everybody likes them. And then one day we just come by, and then we saw that the space was open, and we were like, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, should we? But we were struggling with money, so we didn't have any. After we made a lot of empanadas on my house, <laughs> we finally got the money, and that's when we decided that we were gonna open. And the fun story is that we opened with $100 on our pocket. That was it. Wow. Yes. So you guys basically just, you spent your last money just kind of getting launched. Yeah. And then now I'm, getting, I'm being told, hey, go try Latino Bites. So when I go and get uh, tacos, I usually get pastor because it's my favorite. Meat. Okay. That's really good pastor too. You guys? That's good. This is excellent. I, I'm so glad you opened this restaurant. <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to find you as easily if you were just selling, selling this food out of your house. So, yeah. really good choice. I'm going to try that carne asada. Go ahead. Yeah, so it was, it, was, it was hard at first, but then everything has been good. That's why we're super grateful with the community and the acceptance because that, that's everything we had at the moment. So, yeah. Well, I will say this. If you make good food, you people, you endear people to you really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> good taco falls apart, right? Yep. That's why you have the second tortilla, so you make another taco. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, before we go, actually, I'm going to take another bite of this empanada. This, this is so good, man. <laughs> oh, man. It's worth the wait. <laughs> <laughs> guys, thank you so much for having East Idaho News. Thank you. Uh, bye. I know you guys are closed today, so I really appreciate you coming in and making time for me. Thank you. Thank you so much.
with eastsideonews.com, eastsideonews, Latino Bites, Kalama Hines. Have a good day. East Idaho Eats brought to you by Culling Professional Services.